Right, mail time and update time. Where are we? So, first thing, post. I bought myself some new bearings. These, I don't know if they're any better than Chinese bearings. They come from Latvia, from the uh, Baltic Bearing Company. Um, they are significantly cheaper than the bearings that I would have used otherwise. Uh, normally I'd use uh, SKF or NTN, stuff like that. But so yeah, there we go, we've got a 3208 and a 3207. They are made in Latvia. I am trying to convince myself that they are better quality than Chinese. If they're not, we'll know, but for what they cost, which was next to nothing, um, they can't be that bad, I suppose. Um, what else have we got coming up here? Hang on for a second, I'm just going to take the label off this because it's got uh, all sorts of identifying information on it. This one I have not opened. This is a new toy. Um, let's, uh, let's zoom outwards slightly, maybe. Can you, can you zoom outwards? Um, maybe not. Um, this is a new toy, new to me anyway, cost me not very much, it's something I've needed for quite some time, I'm hoping that it's shipped okay, it's been bashed about a bit, oh look there's my name, right, that's no big deal, right, got a three notes, some bog roll, Unboxing, how about that? Oh, that seems to have survived unscathed. Um, yes, it's a height gauge. I do need to make myself uh, something more than just the scribing head, but uh, this is something that I've been looking for for quite some time. That part works. Um, it has the cutout in the front, which means it can be used for squareness. Um, seems to be reasonable, reasonably flat. There's no so yes, little height gauge. Could probably could probably do with some de-rusting. Maybe a new, maybe a new. What's it called? It's been used somewhere where they've been grinding. That's not so good. So it does need a good clean. But there we go, that was 25 euros well spent. It's almost the same colour as the lathe. In fact, it might even be the same colour as the lathe. How about that? Um, and in other news, um, you may remember I was talking about welding aluminium. Um, I'm not a good welder. Um, I'm not even a bad welder. Um, but aluminium welding rods, by God, they're horrible to use. Um, first attempts are here. Absolutely foul. Um, the first stick, I had the polarities wrong. I couldn't even get the damn thing to arc. Um, second stick, very, very difficult to get it to hold an arc. And it won't pull a bead. Um, the next thing I'm going to try is heating um, the piece before welding. Um, I think that's probably the next the next logical thing to do um, because well that is I don't know if you can see that let's uh, let's zoom in. This is some proper delding, believe me. How about that for some beauty, eh? Mm -mm -mm. No, that's fucking horrible. Um, so I don't know whether don't know whether these are going to be a viable option. Uh, let's zoom back out again for what it's worth. Yeah, I don't I don't know whether these are going to be a viable option. Uh, 
if they're not, that's a problem because my mate, the uh, the TIG welder, is is currently in hospital. Um, I hope he's doing all right. He's uh, he's not going to be out any time in the near future, I don't think. Which is yeah, not good at all. Um, not good for him. Uh, means that it's it's difficult for me to get any TIG work done. But that's uh, that's that's totally uh, totally by the by. Um, yeah, so either I'll get to the point where I can actually pull a bead on these and try and actually do some real welding with them, or I'm going to try and find some 100mm steel tube and, uh, and work with steel tube rather than aluminium. See you around.